What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Holland Bass TV. Before we get into this rod review, I want to talk to you guys about the shirt that I'm wearing by Real Fish Apparel. These We have teamed up with these guys over here at Real Fish Apparel so that we can bring you guys really awesome deals on everything that they offer. They have some awesome stuff over here. This is their performance shirt with a hood, and I will tell you, probably the best dry fit um, shirt that I have worn out on the water. It kept me warm in the morning when it's a little bit cool, and it kept the sun off me when it actually kept me cooler during the day, and I wasn't as sunburnt at all, which is awesome. Make sure you guys head over there to Real Fish Apparel. I'll link their stuff in the description below, and I'll even put the code right down here HBTV10 so that you guys can get 10% off everything in their store. Now let's roll this sweet succulent intro and get right into the video. What's up guys, welcome back to Holland Bass TV. Thank you guys for tuning in today. And today we have a rod review for you guys from Fish Hunters Custom Rods. This is the new rod that I just received from them guys over at Fish Hunter Custom Rods. It's an absolutely amazing rod. I've had a little bit of time to fish with it and it is probably my favorite medium rod I have ever used. So a little bit of specs on this. This is a medium moderate action rod that I use for cranking. I've got, currently I've got a Lose Speed SLP with seven and a half gear ratio on it. Didn't really like um, the speed on that. So I actually ordered a new, a new reel with a little bit slower speed for cranking. It's got a little bit more torque to get them fish in the boat, especially when uh, you got treble hooks in them. Um, so you can crank them and get them to the boat a little bit quicker. This rod, uh, I had it custom made and I asked the guy, I was like, can I have a red, white, and blue rod? It's all I asked him and this is what he came up with. We have wind grips on it all the way up here. And then we have a red blank and he has 11 eyelets on here. They're the super small ones, which improve a lot with casting. Absolutely amazing casting. It's probably the best casting rod I've had. Casts much further, casts like a dream. You barely even feel any of the line going through your eyelets when you cast it. He did some of this amazing marbling down here, which I absolutely love. And he also did it up here. This, this rod has caught quite a few uh, fish this year, and I've used it for probably three weeks now, and I am so pleased with this thing. The best thing that I have seen from this rod is the parabolic action that it gives you with this medium rod. Uh, it's very flexible down here at the tip, uh, and it'll bend over a lot. Um, that is one thing that you really want with a cranking rod is so that it bends over so when them fish come up that they don't shake uh, the bait out of their mouth with treble hooks. It's really easy with all that weight for them to shake that bait and throw it. Well, this rod actually has a lot of parabolic bend in it so that it doesn't, when them fish come up and shake their heads, it doesn't completely unload on you. 
and they throw that bait so much easier. It's a lot easier to keep fish hooked. It's a lot easier to cast. It's just all around a better cranking rod when you have a medium moderate action. So I'm gonna go over how he actually makes these rods the best that I can. I'm not a professional rod maker by any means, but I'm gonna explain to you guys the best that I can of how he explained it to me. So the first thing that he does is when he gets this rod blank, it's completely bare. All it is is just this red part all the way through. So the first thing he does is he gets the grips and the reel seat and he has to glue all this into spot into place. And then after he gets these all set up, ready to go, he has to let it cure for 12 hours so that the glue sets up and nothing's gonna move and nothing's gonna break or anything like that. After that, he moves on to tying each and every single eyelid on here. And there are actually 11 of these. You can't quite see it. Let's see if I can get this to focus here. But there is actually red and blue line that ties this on. And after he gets all the eyelets tied on, he uses um, a sort of epoxy, I believe, is what he said, um, to glue and make sure that none of this comes untied. He has to let it sit for another 12 hours. And after that, he does the marbling. And when he gets the marbling done, it's red, white, and blue infused in there, all the paint, and then it <clears throat> he swirls it on both, both sides of this, and then he has to let it sit up for another 12 hours. So a rod doesn't take a whole lot to make. It's a whole lot of patience, to be honest, because you have to wait a minimum of 36 hours just for this thing to set up. That's a full day and a half, but in all reality, if you get out there at 9 a.m., put the grips on, let it sit for 12 hours, it's 9 p.m. So you can get this done in, let's say, two days, but you really have to take three days to make a rod, which is insane. So my overall opinion on this actual rod, my Fish Hunter Custom Rod, is that it is absolutely amazing. An amazing company, great guy. He makes very high quality stuff for really good prices, to be honest, for a custom rod. And he turns them, turns them out pretty quick. It took me about, um, from ordering to my door, about a week and a half to get this rod to my door, which is extremely fast for a custom rod. Uh, I'm very pleased with the work that he's done and I just wanted to thank Fish Hunter Custom Rods. Thank you guys so much for getting this rod over to me. Um, I'm very pleased with it. You guys did an amazing job. And I wanna thank you guys for watching today. It was I'm very happy to bring this to you because it is something that I truly believe in and I really don't, I don't at all want to push anything on you guys out there as subscribers and viewers that I don't personally believe in. And Fish Hunter Custom Rods puts out amazing stuff. And I would really advise if you guys need a rod to go over and check him out first. Before you start looking anywhere else, go over and check out Fish Hunter Custom Rods and be sure that you hit him up and ask him for pricings and what he can do for you guys so that you know you have a good rod in your hands for a really good price also. So if you guys want to be a little bit more involved in Holland Bass TV, make sure you head on over to uh, Instagram at Holland Bass TV. I'll have it linked in the description along with Fish Hunter Custom Rods, Instagram linked in the description. Um, give us a like and a follow over there and you would actually know that we were doing this video Thank you guys so much for watching. 
make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you like the content give us a thumbs up down there um, leave a comment on what you guys want us to do next thank you guys for watching have a good one spartans what is your profession